And of course, they're still trying to put me in jail for saying, saying Merry Christmas to the woman who was harassing me on Christmas Eve. I mean, I considered that turning the other cheek when someone says horrible things about you, spams all your fans with their hatred and all that other stuff. Uh, the best thing to do is either ignore them or at least try to be friends. So, Merry Christmas on Christmas Eve was at least one way I tried to get along with her. Because that's all I really want to do is get along with my exes. Now, of course, if I'm in jail, well then... Child, you don't have to pay child support when you're in jail. <laughs> what does she gain by that either? It doesn't make sense to me. Well, now with the bylaw issue, I've already got the final ultimatum from the township office and from their lawyers. Of course, they had to hire the biggest law firm in my city to take me on, little old David's Farm. Well, what they're saying is, like they said before, it's illegal to make videos on my property. Hmm, strange. That, make, that would be the only Canadian who's not allowed to make YouTube videos on his own property to date. But they put it on official order, sent it to me by the sheriff, delivered it to me by my <laughs> adversaries, the law firm that they hired, and they're at their final wit. I'm ordered not to make any more videos. Um, luckily for you guys, I'm contravening that order until who knows what they're going to do to me. Maybe they'll just sneak up one day and lock me up for making those free YouTube videos, but hmm, that would look good on them. First person ever put in court for making YouTube videos on their own property about their own stuff. Well, of course they're at the end of their wit too with my cars that are still at the farm. I still have 27 of them, as you know, and just gave that last update video. I'm not trying to hide it, but those are not derelicts. They're movie props. Of course, you can see they work. They start in the cold, but they don't want to have them there either. They want to seize them all. Well, the fact that they're at the back of the farm, the field's plowed, there's too much snow to get back there, I think that's the only thing preventing them from coming in there and seizing them. So, what did I have to do? Well, before I was charged with any of this, just after they had visited me, I hired my lawyers to make a constitutional challenge because our constitution, very similar to the American constitution, is gives you rights like the freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Well, that means freedom of speech. I can say anything about anybody so long as it's not a hatred speech. And I can film anything or do anything in public or a public place and post it publicly like on the internet if I want to, especially if I film it on my own property. And they're denying me that right. Well, that's a constitutional challenge. It's going to be expensive, but if I don't fight and challenge them, well then, I just might as well not make videos, as they want to come and take everything away. And of course, number two, the right to life, liberty, and peace. Well, I make a legal living, I pay a lot of taxes, I bring a lot of tourism to Lucan, and I do it with making good, educational, fun, and entertaining car videos. Is that bothering the world? Oh, sure, my ex-girlfriends are raving to the township office and the police that I'm only making videos so that I can attract kids out there. That's bullcrap. They did convince them that, of course, and they also convinced them I was growing marijuana and chopping up stolen cars. Why do you think they brought eight bylaw, I mean eight police officers to supervise one bylaw guy? If they thought I was a dangerous person, it would only take one cop and one gun to have me under control. Please, don't shoot! Yeah, really. <laughs> they made a mess out of that. Well, supposedly supervising and protecting the bylaw officer the whole time they were raiding my farm on the September 2009. All the rest of the cops were busy searching my farm without a warrant, the neighbor's farm, and leaving me alone to videotape that bylaw guy. Who knows, I could have had a gun hidden in my camera like James Bond. 